be over in three, two, one. All right, chat, get your claps together. We have the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Shasta. Shasta, take it away. Hello, hi everybody. We're in Kirby Superstar Ultra today. We're doing the beer, beer Revenge of the King category. Almost, almost the Return of the King. It's not Lord of the Rings. I, I do that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> when I first found out your run, I was doing that too, so I feel you. <laughs> I do that way too much. But yeah, this is the B Revenge of the King category. This is basically just the like 8% category of the game. As you can see here in my 100% file, there are 11 game modes in the game, excluding these main games over here. But today we're just being uh, Spring Breeze, Diamond Blade, Ray Cave Offensive, Gourmet Race, Man Revenge of Man Knights, Man Milky Way Wishes, and Revenge of the King, which is exclusive to the Star Ultra. This takes out, this cuts out all the non-story mode modes, aka both Arena and True Arena. Helper to Hero entirely, and Man Emerald Ultra. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Without further ado, I'm going to use my splits, so sorry if they're you're annoyed if the space bar noises. <laughs> but yeah, three, two, one, go. So yeah, first off, the game starts you off in Spring Breeze, kind of just a tutorial area of the game. You got a little bad luck there on that wall do. This game has, has a lot of different uses for powers. Powers in this game are not just single use. For instance, if you're over a gap like that, I can just press B for good timing and just shoot a bunch of uh, beams down directly before me so I can get a little heights. I'm just going to take care of Pop Bros. Senior just like that. And we go for our first mix of the game right here. This category uses a lot of this power if I get if I get it. Nope, one, that was one pass there. <laughs> so we got to try that again. I believe. There we go, second try. Nice. So yeah, this category uses, uses a lot of jets in particular. Hondo is a lot, he uses a little less jet, but still a lot of it. But jets is the most versatile power in the game. It uses, it does a lot of damage if you use it correctly, like this. And you just move, and you have the fastest like movement in the game with it as well. It's very, very, very good. <laughs> On the stage two float islands here. Whenever I move around with jets, I'm going to be doing a run and then just ends using jet, like using jet normally. That allows me to, in this case, hopefully not lose any high at all. Just like this. That was a really good move right there. Also, invincibility can in this game gives you invincibility for a while, obviously, but also allows you to hurt enemies and you move just like way, way faster. So there's a few strats in the game that'll be using that too. I think normally casually people would use Crash right here, but we can also use our Jet Suplex, which the way you use that is you uh, uh, do a charge on your Jets, you store it, and then press B right next to anything, any object you can pick up, like a box or a, a star or what have you. Didn't get, best, didn't get the best luck there. If you get really good luck, you can just suplex both Lola and Lala at the same time, and it's really, really, really good. <laughs> Oops. Now it's time for Bubbly Clouds. There are actually too many boss fights in this Bubbly Clouds here. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> First one being Cracker Jr., who we're just gonna do that to. Just gets one shot by a Suplex, because Suplex is just really good. Any sort of power in this game that has you throw anything, such as Suplex or, you know, Suplex, <laughs> it's pretty good. It just does a ton of damage for every reason. Now we got Krakow Senior, aka just Krakow. Krakow the OG. There we go. Three three Jet Crackers will take him out. The Jet Cracker is just like the, the explosion move that I keep using all the time by charging jets. That's what that is, basically. Now it's time for the big old penguin himself, King King DDD! As you can probably imagine from our strategy is this right here. <laughs> Because it's very good. It's a very good strat. Oh no. K Didi has a lot of iframes to him. Different bosses have a different amount of iframes. And Didi has a lot. <laughs> Sometimes you just kind of don't hit, don't hit him because of that. And there we go. 
in this game, Super Troll Ultra, there is a cutscene that's added, it's added at the end of each game mode, and to skip that, we just stop reset. Now it's time for Dia Blade. That blade has four main stages. There's another stage you can play as well. Or rather, there's like a boss fight you can play too on the overworld, but we're trying to avoid that. Now it's time for another mix. Hopefully this goes well here. Nice. I'm typically really good at that one, so glad, that, glad I got that on the first try. Once again, just using Jet, because Jet is our learned savior. All hail Jet. You notice Run uses a lot of Jet, of course. Like, there's a lot of. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with the movement. Like, a lot of very subtle things that I just really like. Plus, casually. I don't know about you guys, but I have, I've always really liked Jet a lot casually, too. I don't, I don't know what it is about it. It's just. It's got such fun versatility. Even casually, there's just a lot you can do with it, like, non speed wise. Speaking of speed, though, hey, look, it's a candy. Those are fast. In particular, I actually ran off the ledge there and then used. And then used a. See, see a Chef Chaos Lock, by the way. I ran off the ledge, then pressed B, and I still was able to maintain. Or get like a huge burst of speed, and maintain a lot of height still. It's a little bit tight to do that, but it's useful in some places. Normally here you get you hit a switch they need for 100 percent but it's a hundo yo. Oops. But for now we actually have a little bit of knowledge scroller for about half a minute, so if you have a donation or something to pull out, go for it real quick. Absolutely. I have a ten dollar donation from TRS Crazy P that says, Did someone say 4K? Did someone say P Besto poster? Can I get some hype in chat? And good luck on the run, Shasta. You thank you, thank, thank really you. Quick six dollar donation from Anonymous that just says 4K, 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 4K. I think I got the 4Ks right. <laughs> I agree. I noticed we were pretty close to before his run started. Oops, lost the time at the end there. If we can hit that by the end of this run, that'd be that'd be that'd be really cool. That'd be very very cool. And actually, speaking of hitting 4K, we actually did hit 4K. I know it hasn't been oh. updated on the chat. It's uh, from what I'm seeing on the donation tractor, it is, from what I tell, $4,010. Oh, damn. Um, yeah, so, congrats, everybody. GG's. Uh, that is awesome to hear on day two. Heck yeah. Now let's keep pushing for 5 everybody. That's what I say. I've done, by the way, I just got a really good pattern on on, uh, on Bonkers there, which allowed me to just straight up suplex him to death. That was really nice. Doesn't happen all the time there at all. 40 trillion pog pogs in the chat yo oops oh no uh, this room is really hard good ending right there though at least coco cave in general this this area is one of the harder one of the, just like one of the harder levels just in this in this level in, in general there's a lot of just very tight passages and a lot of enemies that don't like getting killed in one hit <laughs> Such as these stones right here. They have a lot of health. Nice. Didn't get hit by the yo-yo there as well. We learned yesterday his name is Jim. G-I-M. Jim the yo-yo man. That's what we're calling him. Those are really good jets right there. Maintain the, maintain the same highlight that I had jets actually a little bit more tricky than you think it would be. It requires a lot, of a lot more precision than you'd think. <laughs> yeah. We got through the hardest parts, and now it's time to actually take care of the main boss now, which is Bugsy up here. Bugsy is one of the more hated bosses because I'm a Nightmare Dream Runner as well. In that game, Bugsy likes to just do whatever the heck he wants and waste time, but thankfully in this case we had Jets, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Alright, now it's time for Candy Mountain! That's what it's actually called. Candy Mountain, Charlie! <laughs> oh no. Missed one of my jets. That's not good. Things of old are now rushing in my brain right now. <laughs> candy Mountain, Charlie! Yay! Candy Mountain! Yay! 
<laughs> they haven't heard that one in a hot minute. <laughs> What's even worse is there's probably some people going, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> there's another you know, the path you can take in this room here, but since we have Jet, we can just go through the wall like that. We just we just use that really. That's all I gotta do there, thankfully. If I do this correctly, I can keep my invisible cannon through right there. Oh wait, no, never mind. Think of, think of the hundo. I can keep it for a little bit in this room too, and that saves a good amount of time. Oops. Now there is a mix I can go for right here for invisibility candy off those two enemies next to the door there. I'm not gonna go for it for the sake of safety. But if I do get it, it could potentially save me time. Don't forget it first try. It's like the third power in the mix, so it's not awful to go for, but still annoying if you miss it. Because you just lose a good amount of time. This is going well though, at least so far. Oh no. I got a double hit with, with Jet there, which is nice. Doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, it's that good stuff. It's that good stuff right there if I do say so myself. It's good. Okay, and emojis in the chat. <laughs> Alright, finally, that's the, that's the last level we gotta take care of. We could have fought another main boss there, but we're not doing that. It's very slow to do so. And that boss is also just kind of annoying too. However, Diamond Blade is not very annoying at all because there's a little trick you can do on Diamond Blade that just kind of neutralizes it entirely. And you just do that. Now, the positioning for that, for that suplex is actually a bit more tight than you think it is, but yeah, pretty much you just do that, and that's it. <laughs> I think it was before 2010. I want to say it's like 2007 or 6. It's pretty old. Alright, so I can, now, now I can do either Great Cave Offensive or Gourmet Race first, but for sake of like me grinding this game... I, I, want, I always go for a great cave first, because you can lose a lot of time there if you're not careful. After, yesterday I did a true harvest around this game, and I need to remember not to actually get any of the chests right now. Because <laughs> I'm used to getting the chest currently. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna grab Wingway here. One of the few instances in this run we don't actually use Jet, because we, we can't get it yet, basically. Wing is very fast too. It's very good for getting these, these chests in particular. Especially early on, but just in general, just a lot I can do with Wing. And that's good movement, nice. Right up there. Good stuff, heck yeah. Now I'm just gonna do a little dive bomb right here, and just get rid of bonkers immediately. For, for every reason, there's just a uh, breakable blocks right there. Don't know why. But it's very useful to say the least. Then bam. And now it's gonna keep on spamming our side B here in the air. All the way until a certain point. I wanna not land right there. Yeah, there we go. Just nine in a row. And now we can get Jet right here. Now it's time for fast. Just time for fast. And nice. So if I went those two patterns to him, I got the faster one. I can get oh no. <laughs> uh I was gonna say I can get rid of him in one in one uh basically in one in one go. But that happened. So I haven't explained it yet, but this game has a really weird mechanic where if you if you get hurt, you lose your power, but it's completely random. Like, you know, it's like nor normally that'd be whatever, like you can get hurt and lose your power, it's fine, but it's completely random in this case. In other games there's other tells to it, like in Kirby Squeeze Watch, for instance, only the squeak enemies can make it lose your power, not other enemies. But like, in this case, in this game, like, that's not, that's not how it is. It's a bit annoying because of that, but it is what it is. It's just something to deal with, with being a Superstar Ultra Runner. There we go. That attack right there can just destroy, can just get rid of your power, or like just steal your power immediately, and that's super annoying. Thankfully it was very nice that time though. Thanks, attack. Fun fact, attack backwards is cat. Now it's time for computer virus. So this this is one reason I'm playing on the Japanese version in particular. Computer virus's text just scrolls by a lot faster for for some reason. 
it just it saves like a few seconds per fight, and in this case, no effect pure virus, uh, like I think twice in this run. Yeah, I want to say twice. You, you do it once here, and the other milkway wishes, but yeah, that's a good fight there. I actually got all the one cycles as well. The idea there is that we do a jet cracker, does 35 damage, the exhaust is 20, then 35 right there for another jet cracker, and that's enough to actually destroy the magician in that case, or the wizard, whatever his name is. <laughs> the cool thing about this category is that you don't have to do tower at all. It's that's this entire area. You just skip it. It's the hardest area of 100%. So I'm I'm cool with not doing it. I'm very cool with not doing it. It's usually a run killer in that category. Just because there's a lot of really really difficult stuff in there. Well, if you have a quick second, I have a uh, a donation I have to read. Go for it. Jeez. So, Monkey Man donated $10. Let's see if I can say this right. It's the magical Leah Plaridon, Charlie! Yay! Leah Plaridon, yay! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Why isn't there a Leah Plaridon in, in Kirby? Important question. It fits so well. What are you doing, Hell Laboratories? Come on. <laughs> Alright, now it's time for Wham Bam. We got a little bit of, of a, a makeover between between this game and Kirby Superstar, the original one, the OG if you will, a little bit of makeover. Hopefully I did enough damage here so I can get one cycle. Barely. Nice. I didn't, I'm supposed to be exhausted there, but that was good. Very good fight. That one's a little bit tight with Jets because once you, once that once that fist goes off screen, he'll just do a long attack that I can't hurt him during basically and rocks can just fall down and hurt me. And I can lose my power, and that's not good. But the overall went pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how a great cave went as a whole. Now if Jet, we have to kind of bonk the wall there. Poor Kirby. Or actually destroy a bomb block. Cool. This run's going pretty well so far, honestly. Just on my own end here. Now it's time for Gourmet Race. So if I can get some sour pleases in the chats, that'd be pretty cool. Also, a hot opinion, Gourmet Race 2 is better than Gourmet Race 1 in terms of the music. You'll hear Gourmet Race 2 in a second, so you get, you get to judge for yourself near her before. That's just my hot opinion. There's actually a little bit of tech to this. If you, cause like, at certain, like whenever you jump like this, you have to run immediately again. And if you're able to run super fast, like out of, you, like you run faster than normal here. But if, if you're able to just immediately run, you save, you save a good amount of time as well. It's very, it's actually a little bit tired. Here we go, here's Gormarius 2, by the way. It's tiring than you think it would be. Isles of this uh, Gourmet race are very, very tight and it's time. And you can't make a single mistake, or else you're not going to be able to beat your PB, basically. There we go. <laughs> Got the jump there. That jump's weirdly tight as well. No, what? I'm not singing that song. <laughs> you, you can't make me do that. But now for the next donation set. No, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Question right. chat from Gooby, if they donate five dollars, will you do it? No. It's not enough. Get to 5k during this run, that will do it. That's a challenge. By the way, a little bit of tech of wing here. We can get wing in particular in, in a Gormit Race 3. Because we can do something called a wing cancel. Essentially, if we press down and B with, with wing, we do a uh, back we do a little backflip. But if we do if we time if time A press correctly, we can just cancel out of it at the very apex of the the backflip, which gives us a lot more heights a lot faster. That was a really good going race 3. That was almost sub 40. That felt very good. Heck yeah. Cool. And now with that, we unlock Revenge of Man Knights. That's already four game modes down, three to go. However, next three are the longest three in the run, so get comfy, everybody. Hmm. 
Alright, time for Revenge of Man Knight. I'm a huge fan of this game mode, personally, just because of all the text you do it normally, but... Unfortunately, can't... Unfortunately, can't... Oh, nice. You can't see that, unfortunately, because of, you know, Japanese version. There we go. First try for that friend mix there. It's only the third power this time, thankfully. I guess I'll explain how mixes work real quick, because that's like our third in the run so far. But essentially, it mixes... There we go. That was, that was a good right there. Uh, the way mixes work is that the, the power, the enemies you suck up in what order you suck them up in are completely... Uh, uh, they're, they're on basically a mix wheel. Or if like, it's just like a, a... It's a bunch of powers in a row on the mix wheel in this case. And where you start in that depends on like which enemies you suck up in what order you suck them up in. In that case, I sucked up the yo-yo enemy and also a laser enemy. I guess beep in this case. There's no laser in this game. And it just, it makes, and it puts me in a certain part of the wheel, which puts me three away from, for just coincidentally three away from where my jet is. It's a little hard to understand, but yeah. It's also a four frame, uh, oh no. I don't want to lose jet right here. That was, that was a good save there from that platform. <laughs> I really don't want to lose jet right here. But yeah, it's a little hard to understand. It's also a four frame window in a 60 FPS game, so it's a little, it's a little difficult at first, but it's one of those things to get used to by doing more runs and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's time for just some comfy swimming. Grape Garden in general is just a very comfy area of the game. Oh, I wanted to get that candy there. That's fine. Now it's time for a nice comfy auto scroller. If y'all get some donations, go for it. Yeah, you, you got about minutes. Right, and I love that little the little goggles that Kirby wears underwater. It's, just <laughs> it's so, so good. good. All right, well we don't have any donations yet, but I do have a couple bid wars I can pitch, particularly for Diamond Pearl coming up in just a few runs. Uh, quite literally, it's the run right after gimmick. So. We have, uh, you can choose which starter. Right now, Piplup is in the lead of uh, about $6 ahead of Chimchar. So if you want to see that Fire Monkey get some, uh, get a nod, feel free to donate to that. He's one um, of the few fire types in that game. He needs the attention. Honestly, if I didn't love Empoleon as much as I would, I, yeah, I'd agree, but... I, lo I love Empoleon um, most too as well, honestly. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Piplup, but... I don't know. <laughs> They're both good. Uh, let's see here. We can go for uh, anything from our starter name, which right now, Zami, if I said that correctly, is in the lead behind oh, no. Muto. Oh my god. I'm getting some horrible luck from these wispies. But I got a double kill though. That's swag. Heck yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no. If I need to stay quiet, just. Throw something virtually at me, preferably a pillow and something comfy. <laughs> fair um, enough, fair we, enough. <laughs> uh, we have, again, the starter name you can choose from between Zami and Muto. That's M-E-W-T-O-W. -W. Uh, we have the rival name bid war. Right now, Togoro is beating Red Jr. So if you want to change that or create an option of your own, feel free to donate towards those. Also, uh, run a little bit after Diamond Pearl, we have Unravel 2, which is a co-op run in you can choose the color of the yarn. That's uh, a good four, game. It's a fantastic, or fantastically gorgeous game, and I've seen the the co-op run. How they get the mechanics to work is just mind blowing. So I want to watch, watch that for sure. Like I played a game at E3 a few years ago. Actually, it was really good. I, I've played it a few times, and it's just it it's so fun. And seeing the co-op version, ah. Oh. But uh, you can actually choose the yarn color and. Three of the options, you'll be able to tell them apart between ketchup and mustard, green and white, and blue and magenta, or you can activate hard mode and just make all of the yarn black. Ooh. And right now, black is winning. So if you want to change that or give black, or black an even more commanding lead, make sure you put your donation incentive towards that. That sounds difficult too, because I remember there's a lot of like cave areas, especially early on to the game. So that know, sounds pretty just, difficult to me. <laughs> and just paying attention to how the yarn is when they're apart, and uh, but I'm also a fan of anything hard mode, so. Same here. Despite the fact that I don't really run hard mode anything except for like Warrior Land Four, I think. <laughs> As you fly through Kirby, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've been running this game since like late 2014 or so. So like, yeah. It's, oh. I have a lot of experience. Let's just say, let's just say that much. So just watching the jet tech is absolutely amazing. I'm going, oh wow, that that is so much easier and huh. okay. Yeah, jet's just really good. As you can see here, for me, one shot these enemies and it'll take a few hits to kill. Suddenly realizing all the mistakes I've made not bringing Jet into these fights. Yeah, just as you can see, you can probably tell from his run so far, Jess is like really, really, really good. <laughs> Especially in this game, but also in Superstar, it's mostly used in the run too. So actually, you can talk about that real quick. A nice little difference between this run and Superstar is that Superstar actually has a lot of matching in it. Because uh, Plasma is one of the best powers in the game, and, and the best one in that game for damage. So you actually use Plasma a lot in that game, but it's heavily nerfed in this in this game. I'll, I'll explain that after this, but first let's talk about this fight here. This fight's really cool. I love this strat right here. There we go. Got it. You just suplex that bomb, and you just get so much damage off of it. Oh, I forgot to split a while ago. Whoops. <laughs> I was, too, I, was too, I was too focused right now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Plasma between games is heavily nerfed. I think in Superstar, it's 16 inputs to get fully charged Plasma. And if you get that, it does like massive damage. In this game, it's a whopping 32 inputs to get fully charged Plasma. And it does, less da it does not, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. So yesterday, I did a true 100% run of this game, which is doing a regular 100%, plus doing all the help again uh, doing all the helpers and helper to hero as well, which is a game mode where you have to There's like a whole arena going on And you can do it can like go you can combat with any power you want and You fight computer virus in that in that arena, and there's like a HP bar and stuff Plas Fully charged plaza does 40 damage total to uh <laughs> Like to, to computer virus for the record bonkers with it with his, with his hammer attack he does 80 damage that's really bad <laughs> like it did more damage. like I'm pretty sure the hammer flip which is the really powerful attack of hammer that I mentioned a second ago does more damage than fully charged plasma in superstar but it just has way less range or like the same amount or something either way so that's like an extreme nerf it's really bad but yeah <laughs> Nice little difference there, at least. Like, it, it it keeps my hands from being. It makes my hands usable for the rest of my life, so we take those. I don't like matching too much in my speed games anymore. Let's just say that. Also, we got we got uh we got heavy lobster here. No no donations this time because auto scroll is almost done. <laughs> There's a little bit of that before every heavy lobster fight, at least this one. Heavy lobster is a lot. Oh no. I say there's a lot of luck to it, but I didn't expect the luck of losing my power to be one of those bits of luck. <laughs> what he does is kind of random. Not because he got good luck, because he gave me an, an enemy instead of throwing much of fire at me, which is really bad when that happens. <laughs> oh yeah, also, also one Nessus alarm on the chat is that whenever you destroy all the blocks there, it's a little inside joke in the community where we call it a valid run at that point. <laughs> if you destroy all the blocks during the auto scroller of of heavy lobster. <laughs> Sounds good. So actually getting through these bomb blocks here is way more precise than you'd think they would be as well. You have to like end your jets as you're going through that bomb block and if you don't you just bonk. Oops. If you don't see me like doing a regular jet through enemies in this case, it means that I can't actually destroy them in one hit. As much as I want to. I'm gonna get a charge right here and then go right up here. I'm just gonna do that above the enemy there because you can't destroy in one hit. <laughs> like I mentioned. Oh no. And my side goes off because we got hurt there. And now here we go. So we're, we're, going to, we're coming to the reactor now. Reactor has a good amount of luck to him and what, and what he'll do. So hopefully this goes well. Ideally, you just want this this thing to come down immediately, right? Like this, and that was really good. You can also save time on the reactor by destroying this, for instance, right here. I can't do that with jets, so we're just gonna have it, we're just gonna let it go off, and then attacks gonna happen randomly too every time. 
And now it's going to have the laser come down again. Hopefully it lines up perfectly. There we go. Now I'm going to destroy that so the attack comes out faster again. I can destroy this one. Let's try it. There we go. Oh! Oh, I got it. Yo. I perfectly... I barely lined that up perfectly. Let's freaking go. <laughs> that was really nice. And now we got an auto scroller after that, so... Next 45 seconds, this floor is yours. Uh, note to self, don't bring out Candy Mountain Voice, because more donations have come in from Monkey Man! Yay! <laughs> Another $10 donation from Monkey Man that says, Underwater level, watch out for the poisonous Fugu fish! Fugu! <laughs> I forgot about that one! <laughs> right? It took me a second! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, we, we all... Oh, I literally can't even know. All right, we have another five dollar donation from the Flying Marlin that says, "Why do they call it oven when you've been?" Ah! Oh, Why do they call it oven when you oven the cold food? Oven high food. food. <laughs> what you said exactly. Thank you. No problem. You <laughs> just said no on that. One. I, I've Goodbye. I've been around the stream community long enough to know to know what that is. <laughs> Let's just and say that much. <laughs> And of course, Flying Marlin did put that donation towards naming the Pokemon uh, oh, no. Oven. Ooh. But why do they call it Oven when you oven the cold food? Oven, how you the food? My brain is still on Fuku. <laughs> you cooked your brain while reading that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Now it's time for Man Knights. We're gonna, we're gonna destroy our sword immediately here though, but we need to grab the sword in order to initiate the fight. Because Jess is very good and more powerful than the sword. Sword in this game is just all right. That's the best way I can describe it. Oh, and they got great luck here. Cause we can just do this and he's dead. That's extremely good luck right there. Let's freaking go. Heck yeah. That was a great fight. Oh my goodness. It's very rare he gives me a pattern like that where I can suplex a star on top of him, but yeah, that was incredible. GG's on that fight. Holy crap. Thank you. So we're not done yet. We have to do a little escape sequence. I have to do a total of three jumps here, if it all goes correctly. Unfortunately, I did my, uh, my jump is a little off there, so I bonked. Probably means rip best split that could have happened, but it's okay. <laughs> There's the third jump. Now we just do nothing for the rest of this. And back in the ship. <laughs> It's unfortunately to skip the credits right there because it's my favorite song in the game. I really, really like the Red Minute credits so much. But it's whatever. It's all good. There's the, actually that's my not my favorite song. I love Galactic Knights so much, which unfortunately not gonna see in this run, but it's all good. It's okay. Now it's time for Mugway Wishes. The gim the gimmick behind Mugway Wishes is that we can actually select our power on the bomb screen. However, the powers we we can we can set we can select we have to actually get first. So, first off, we go to Sky High because just take a random guess what power is here that'd be very useful for going fast in this run. Just try and guess real quick. Hey, look, it's Jet. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> if he gets Jet, you're right. You win. A donation. There's Midway Speed Fest. Yay! Congrats <laughs> on the sick opportunity. I don't know. There we go. That was a really good fight too. Oh wait, whoops. I don't think I'm supposed to actually get that there, but you know, it worked out. I forgot if I'm supposed to get candy there or not. <laughs> oh well. Alright, so now we're going to Cavius because there's actually no other power we haven't really used in the run yet up to this point. Surprisingly enough, but yeah. But it's very fast and very good. That's where we're going here next, basically. I'll point out once we get there, but for now we're just gonna destroy your boy, Chef Kawasaki there. Honestly, one of my favorite Kirby characters. I actually like Chef Kawasaki a lot. There's a Twitter account that like draws like a bunch of a bunch of like different game covers, but with Chef Kawasaki instead. As like the as like the main character in the cover. It's it's very interesting. But I kind of love it at the same time. But yeah, we're getting hammer. Hammer is very good. If this were 100%, there'd be a lot more menu you do here too, with all the different powers you get. But in this case, we're actually just getting these two the entire time. Because it's all we really need. 
Both Hammer and Jay are both just very good. As you can see there, we just one-shot Bugsy. So that just shows just show how, how powerful Hammer is. We're just one-shot just a boss like that. <laughs> just gonna leave it there. Ah, uh, it's hard to not get hurt there, honestly. All right, hammer time. So yeah, look at that damage. Beautiful. Nice, good wham bam. You can get a two cycle on him, but it's super tight. And just generally really hard to get. <laughs> but yeah, good fight there. Now it's time for Mekai. This has got great music to it. This game in general just got a, such a great soundtrack as a whole. This song is just so good too. Mm. Oh, that was close. Nice. See, so yeah, once again, I got Vincibility Candy. I'm actually gonna do like this. Oh, forgot. Whoops. Oh, I. Oh, no. There we go. We're good. <laughs> Barely missed that. Everything is fine. So close. You were good. All I need to just keep that through. All I need to just keep Jet through there. Or keep the candy right through the Velvair. It's all good. Then we just hammer Bonkers twice. And we're good. Oh, yeah. I'm not supposed to do that there. Because that happens. I just get hurt. And it gets sad. You don't want to make Kirby. You don't want to make Kirby sad. It's not a good time for anybody. So my bad on that one. There we go. Still a pretty nice Mekai though, all things considered. It's just sometimes they beef in. That's okay. But now it's time for one of the hardest sections of the run for movements, and that's Hot Beats. Hot Beat is. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> There's always lava blocks everywhere. Basically, these things are very easy to hit, <laughs> let's just say that much, especially in the second half of this. The worst level in the game is is Hot Beats and Man Nightmare Ultra, which thankfully we're not doing this run, <laughs> but yeah. Oops. Because like, at least in Man Knight, you can, just, you can just like dash check into any of these pegs here, and like Lava Blocks come up when you do that, and it's very easy to just to have it happen. Thankfully, your Invincible Candy lasts you a while in this case because you'll have to get a uh, suplex from in this, in this area, which we normally get in 100%. So you just kind of keep candy through most of this, which makes it a lot easier. The hot beat is uh, still really hard despite that. That was a very good movement though, so it will mitigate like, anything bad could have happened, thankfully. Now here's our strat for Chameleon Arm, who by the way, is turned to a different color every single, every single time you do around this game. Every time you see him, he's a different color. Unless you get unlucky. In this case, he's got a black community arm. Let's go. Alright, now we got Aquarius. Normally, Aquarius takes a little longer because of the powers, but this is 8%, yo. This is 8%. We're not, get, we're not getting this. We're not getting any of these powers. We're just gonna use Jet, because Jet's our best friends. Let's go, Jet. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. There's a lot of water in this section, obviously. It's, it's called Aquarius. Just Aqua, you know. A lot of swimming here. In this section here, the anxious people are swimming just a little bit by going by going through the, these uh these little air bubbles here. Oops. Still worked out, thankfully. Ooh. I love doing that strat there. We just grab a... Just grab the enemy there. That was nice. Because normally, really, normally it's actually pretty hard to get through it, through there. And destroying all the enemies at the same time. That, that strat I came up with there is really good for that. <laughs> Alright, almost to the end of this. At the end of, at the end of this section, we gotta fight Fatty Whale, who hopefully give me a good pattern once again. I got a good pattern earlier, but unfortunately, I lost my, I almost lost my power. So we'll see if I get it twice. I did not get it twice. We got the worst pattern. 
He has two patterns at the start, and that's the one you don't want to see, basically. Ooh, can I do this? Are you gonna stick around? No, I messed it up. I was gonna try and suplex that that little fish. That would've been great. That would've done massive damage. I would've hit his weak point for massive damage. It would've been great. Now I get the good pattern, but too late. <laughs> That's fine right there. There's a good amount of luck in this run because of boss patterns and stuff. Especially for computer virus, which this run only faced twice, thankfully, but yeah. Alright, now here's the shortest, the shortest area in 8%. Slash be, be Revenge of the King. Almost there, Turn of the King. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> but... Yeah, this is the short. This is the shortest area. Gimmick behind Floria is that whenever you go into a door, it changes the seasons. So this case, match gonna go straight to fall now. And it being fall allows this this tree to be cut down up here, so we can just kind of move on now, like this. Now we got fights. Double wispy. I go for a left one first because you have a better chance of not getting hurt by these pots of air here. Unfortunately, I got unlucky, but yeah. Very good, honestly. Oh, now we got Half Moon, though. This is the very last plan we're going to. Half Moon is the hardest, like, th this or Happy are the hardest, too, for sure. This first room, especially, like, right here is crazy. Hopefully, I do as well. I do five in a row. Gonna jump right here again. Oh, almost. You can get not hurt right here, but these, these electric blocks are in such a horrible location for you. It's so easy to get hurt by them. That went, well, that went well for the most part, though. We take those. Poyo? Poyo! Get some Poyos in the chat. You know, if you have a quick second, I, I can supply a Poyo. Terribly, Ooh. but... Do it. Alright, so we have a $5 donation from Eye of Newt that says, uh, We always love to see Kirby, Kirby runs here. Best of luck, Shasta, and Poyo! Poyo! <laughs> thank you, Newt. Thank you. And then got time for one more? Uh, yeah, we can do one more. I'll right. I'll say here real quick that we're gonna we're gonna throw our hammer, which does a lot more damage than your hammer flip. But you only really do a strat in Milky Way Wishes. See, so it just kind of devastates these bosses. All right, go for it. All right, uh, Mice W gave ten dollar ten dollar donation and said, "I think he said I want a donation." Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, after all this, we're coming up on our second last boss fights, technically, of... Nah, actually, like, third last, never mind, it's not even technically. <laughs> third last boss fight here, last one of these planets, at least. This is Computer Virus, once again. This time we have Hammer instead of Jets. We have to hope that, that Computer Virus comes down and doesn't give us, bad, give us bad luck. I... You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna not hurt you right here. Go up, please. I wanna show off the cool strats. Are you ever gonna go up? Okay, cool. <laughs> I want to show off the cool strat. That would be a one cycle. Here we go. Let's see if I can do the cool one cycle strat. There it is. You can only do that in Great Game Defense, or in a uh, Milky Wishes. So I, I really just wanted to show that off. <laughs> but yeah, you do you, you do 80 with the the normal hammer flip. That this attack right here, and then if you get both hits of of that throw, you do 100 damage, which is the exact amount that that Evil Knight has. It's great. I love that strat. I really wanted to show that off. <laughs> and bam. Got some bad luck on Grand Dragon there, but it's okay. You can actually two cycle both Evil Knight and Grand Dragon if all goes well. Or one cycle Evil Knight, but yeah. Grand Dragon's a bit more tricky for sure. Also, you notice that I'm doing like a little puff and then a swing of the hammer before I go into these stars? That's so I don't bonk on the ground, essentially. I never explained that earlier, but it's no longer relevant now, but yeah, that's why I'm doing that. And now we have one more auto scroller. This, I think this is the last one in the run, so get your donations if you got or anything to plug. Alright, so Mike W gave $10 donation and uh, those last two donations were the only ones I have right now, so no additional Puyos just yet. Um, but let's see here. 
Oh, uh, we could go just talk about the event in general. Midwest Speed Fest is raising money to support able gamers. Uh, able gamers gives people with disabilities custom gaming controllers and special assistive technology, uh, like devices that you play with your eyes and other things, so you can have or they can have fun with their friends and family. Uh, they're also actually a registered 501c nonprofit. So if you live in the, U the United States, your donations are actually tax deductible. Ooh. Additionally, your employer might even match your donation. Uh, to donate, you can either type exclamation point donate in chat or go to speedrun.com slash mwsf2020 slash donate. Uh, you can apply your donation to various bid wars and incentives like we've talked about. Um, or if you want to learn more about Able Gamers, just head to ablegamers.org. Oh, I th almost messed that up. I, I, was a I thought I was going to be a little too close. Or, I, th I thought I was in front of him, actually, but that went well. This is the this is Galactic Nova Nucleus, basically. I destroy the first four, four pillars. I get I go past the fifth and the sixth one, then destroy the seventh and the eighth, which allows it, the whole thing to turn around. And you get, you're able to destroy a lot faster because of that. And take out the fifth and sixth one, and then it's done. Now it's time for Marks. Marks is the overall villain of Great of I keep calling Creative Offensive of Mugui Wishes. In this case, it's random where he spawns right here, and I got it. No, I didn't. Never mind. <laughs> I could have gone to one cycle on Marks there. I was super close. He was in a, a kind of a little awkward spot. But yeah. Thankfully, get him down to a certain amount of health. to always use this attack afterwards. So it's, it's, it ends up being fine in the end. That was still good, though. And now all I have left is Revenge of the King. The very last game mode of Be Revenge of the King. <laughs> in this case, we unlock both of this and the arena. We don't go for the arena because this game, this category skips all the arenas. So, yeah. And in, in Revenge of the King here, I'm going to go for a very risky mix that will save me a lot of time if I get it. But it's the hardest, it's the hardest trick in the run. So, hopefully I can get this quickly. Yesterday when I did a run of this, of like, True and Harpercent, it took me like a few minutes. So, hopefully I can get this. Here we go. Wish me luck. Oh no, I'm not getting this, aren't I? That's in the wrong order. Nope, okay. Uh, I'll give it a few more. I'll give it a few tries. We'll give it a little bit. Why not? I'm doing well on time. It's okay. Oh, I was one off. This is the 17th power index, by the way. 17th. You wait a full second. More than a full second for this one. I was one, one ahead in that case. I'll give it two more tries. And if we don't get it, we're just gonna we're just gonna move on. Actually, no, I can't. I don't have cutter. That's what we normally use here. I can't do that. You know what? I set myself up here. We're gonna do it. If we lose a lot of time, we lose a lot of time. I'm doing well on time currently. It's fine. Oh no! You stop that. Go away. I'm gonna do this. Don't you worry. I was too past it. Okay, we got this. We got this. Don't you worry. If I die, we die. Quote from Rocky 4. Oh no. Why'd you destroy your friends? What's wrong with you? Why'd you do that? <laughs> I got it. Okay. So this is actually, it's actually way harder to do with when you're at low health like this. Cause it, it, it cause like the icon flashes as well, <laughs> but we got it, thankfully. Good stuff. That's the hardest. That's the hardest mix in the run for good reason. On PB pace, I got that. In my PB, I got that first try, but that was the only one I've ever gotten that first try. <laughs> it is not easy. That went well, thankfully. I'm very happy about that. Well, quote unquote well, but you know. Now it's time to not die here, which I'm pretty good at, but we'll see. I might just jinx myself. I got health while while doing that. That's really cool. Ah. First try, let's go. Nice, right through the biospark there. I'm gonna, eh, I don't need his health, but I'm getting it anyways. You know what? Marathon safety, why not? Alright, but yeah, Jet's really good for this, especially right here. This, So this Wispy has a lot more health than, than previous ones. In this case, I was hoping for a different attack. I was hoping for him to drop apples, because I can suplex them. Which I'm not going to show off there because, you know, it's right past, but yeah. 
<laughs> still, it was still all right. But yeah, Jet saves a lot of time right here because you, you can't get Jet until Illusion Island normally, which is right, which is where we are now. Also, forgot to even mention, but in general, this game mode has a lot of different redesigns of just like all the Kirby enemies, basically. Normally, it's like a little squid enemy, but that's in this case is like a more like an octopus. That's normally a, a poppy bro, but he looks like a clown now. <laughs> Wall dudes are the same though. I don't know why. Same with Wall of D's. They're just they're, they're just chilling. Everyone else is different, but they're just chilling. They're cool being the way they are, and that's you know what? That's that's a deep that's a deep message right there, honestly. I respect you. <laughs> I respect you, Wall of D's and Wall of D's. I don't even know. But yeah, normally normally you, you mix for Jet in that room. But if you ever get it earlier like I did, you save about 30 seconds optimally, I think. Which, this category is pretty, pretty dang optimized with his world record, so... That's a lot. <laughs> Here's his apples are supposed to be Scarfies, by the way. I love their faces they make sometimes. Whenever the Rapple gets hurt, it makes like a very, very hilarious face to me. I'm not gonna be able to see that, unfortunately. But yeah. Here's Fire Lion. Normally from Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland and Kirby's Adventure. But he actually shows up here. A few of the bosses from the, from that game from Nightmare Dreamland actually show up in this in this section. For whatever reason. They're they're just kinda chilling. Attack's there too. Shout out to attack. Oh no. If I time my, my my suplex correctly, I can actually oh, can I get this? Oh, I didn't get a full charge, never mind. If I time it correctly, I can actually uh sup get both of the suplex on low either Lolo or Lala there. And it'll do just the full hit. The full like the full amount of HP they have. It'll just destroy them. It's pretty crazy. Unfortunately I wasn't I wasn't able to get it there, but it's not a big deal. They're on the crash clouds, it's like bubbly clouds basically. Just like in Spring Breeze, this, or, Revenge of the King is kind of like Spring Breeze in a way. We're going through the first three areas, but with like, kind of remixed, remixed enemies and stuff. And Spring Breeze is very much based off of Kirby's Dreamland. For instance, this is like level design from Dreamland right here, basically. But with much more enemies and different enemies everywhere instead. I'm just gonna do this. I actually want to get rid of you. That enemy you want to get rid of because you want to do this right here so you can get over that enemy there because that one can't get hurt destroyed in one hits. Here's Cracker Jr.'s Revenge, aka Purple Cracko. Purple Cracker Jr. I got good luck, so you let me a suplex that wall do. That was good luck there. I was That was not a good start to the fight, so I absolutely needed that. I'm just going to do another thing right there. That's. Oops. That was a good movement there. That's kind of surprising. <laughs> We're going to do a full charge right here because it allows us to get through that little rose. Normally it's just a regular fire, but that rose can absorb you into its petals. It's very whack. You know what? That room still went well. I messed up and hit that that parasol wall of D, but that room has a lot of random enemies that can just randomly hurt you. And you can just randomly lose your power sometimes. So, that went well in all things considered. I'm not going to complain about that. As you can tell, I use the word random a lot. Okay, this, this, this speed game has a good amount of luck to it in terms of like its enemies and the bosses and stuff, but it's, it's fun. It's still fun, despite all that. Alright, and now we got surprise boss! It's Cabula from Kirby's Dreamland and other games, but mostly Dreamland. I don't need to worry about health right here as long as I don't die. Because the more hits I get of this in here, the, the more damage I do, essentially. <clears throat> there we go. Now all I have left is the very last area, Revenge of Deity, <clears throat> aka of the King. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oops, that's the door there. I need, I need to go in there. That's pretty important. If I lose Jet at all, by the way, there's Jet and me right there at the beginning of of this area, so yeah. Now if you get lucky right here, I'll, I'll not get the invincible attack. I got the invincible attack, that's fine. 
No big deal. <clears throat> I should have been a bit further back, I think, from Mr. TikTok there. But unfortunately, I was not, so rest in peace. It's kind of a boss rush for a bit. Now we're gonna, we're gonna find more bosses from Kirby Nightmare and Dreamland. In this case, we're gonna fight uh, Wheelie as well. So we find Mr. TikTok, we find Mr. Wheelie. After this, we're gonna fight one of my least favorite bosses on the Kirby series, personally. <laughs> Which is just, which in this case is just Nightmare Dreamland flashbacks. Oh no! Uh, we're good. No, we're not! No, we're not good! That icicle killed me! <laughs> no! <laughs> wow, okay. That happened. This is the most dramatic story arc I've ever heard in a very short time. We're still good! It's fine! <laughs> I'm, ta I'm taking this ice right here. I think this is the best course of action. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna so here we are. We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight Fan Fan here. Fan Fan has a lot of randomness to him. In particular, Nightmare in Dreamland. The worst part about him was whenever he rolled across the screen. In this case, it's not too bad. You can just freeze him like that, thankfully. <laughs> but yeah, now we, have to, now we don't have jets now for the rest of this. So this is gonna be a little. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get. I'm gonna you. I, I think it's towards me better for a next boss fight. All right, so that happened. <laughs> this is why my estimate is a little, is like a little higher than my PB. I could have done a little bit, a little bit of a tire estimate for this and been fine, but it's because sometimes you can lose your power like that, or sometimes things like that happen. <laughs> it's just it's just the nature of the game in this case. But yeah, sword. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do my first swing. Of the combo that could happen here, basically, and just step back every time to cancel the combo. That's how I'm gonna do damage with sword, and it does it does a good amount. Sword's not very good in this game, but that's because it's damage up and mostly. Sword's good in other Kirby games, but this one does not a whole lot of damage. Unfortunately, these fire lions here, we, we do have to worry about them hitting me randomly because their attacks are pretty random. Now we're gonna take fire because fire is just really good. I'm gonna try and stay off the ground when I land a fire as well. Because that allows me to just. Oh, there, that's cool. Allows me to just land with no end lag, basically. Can I do this? I can, okay. There we go. <laughs> we'll do like. Why can't I fireball through this? Hold on. Yeah, what the heck? I just land. That's strange. I never had to use fire here before, so. This is all new to me, I'm sorry. <laughs> and here's Bandana D. And there's Bandana D. Bye, Bandana D. I'll miss you. Alright, so now we're coming up with the final boss of, of, of this run. Time will come up as soon as it, I'm on, on the final hits. So, here we go. Thankfully, here we get a hammer for free. Because D is just a nice guy. Shout out to that single Bandana, bandana D in the background there. So this is Mass D. This is one of my favorite songs in the game, too. If I get very lucky, he can give me one pattern here that allows me to do a one cycle on him. But it's very much RNG based, and it's, it's very rare that it even happens in the first place. G uh, time. Time. <laughs> I forgot to call it out, but yeah. There we go. GG's. Yes, GG's, Mr. Shasta. And for our trouble, by the way, we get. We get, we get a cutscene of DD being sad they couldn't take his revenge. So if I can get some Fs in the chat, or just some, some Bible thumps, because DD couldn't take down your boy Kirby, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, so, this, this, is actually a, this is also a remix of Revenge of Man Night Credits as well, which I guess said earlier, one of my favorite songs in the game too. So yeah. But yeah, that's it for me. Do you have anything else to plug before you head off? Absolutely, I have one more donation arena. This is a twenty dollar donation from Lee Tregan or Tregan. Let's go, Lee. And, and all they say is Puyo! Puyo! Heck yeah, gamer, let's go. Any quick shout outs for you? You head off into the sunset, slightly happier than King DD. <laughs> uh shout out to the Kirby community in general. They're they're just a great community as a whole. I've been around the Kirby community since we're we're the Kirby Skype group, <laughs> way back in like 2013, 20.
2014. And like I've, I've I love seeing the community grow as a whole. There's, there's also a good amount of runners for this game too, if fans ever interested. It's very easy to pick up. All like the strats that are using the world record or like the IL records are pretty they're pretty easy to pick up but hard to master. So like I I recommend it if y'all are interested in running this game. I know there's a lot of gen in this run and it might turn some people off to it. Because like it's single power runs are not not as interesting, I feel. But I will say as well, 100% uses, has a lot more power variety to it, beyond just using jets. You know, it does use it a lot. Plus, you get to play Man Ember Ultra, which is which kicks ass. It's so cool. Like, there's also a huge IL community for Man Ember Ultra. And, like, the looker for this category is super, super, super optimized. And thankfully for this category, too, Man Ember Ultra is super easy to pick up as a run, because you don't need a capture card for it, or emulator, or anything. You can just submit a picture of your final time, and that's all you really need. But yeah, like, this game's cool. If anyone's ever interested, then check out our speedrun campaign. Check out the Kirby Discord in general. We're a very chill community full who just really like the cute pink round boy. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have to say. I'll see you all around. Thanks for having me with Midwest Speed Fest. Hope I